Hey, it's Jen from Lighthearted. So spring is right around the corner, which means we are going to be in full-blown wedding season. I don't know about you guys, but I already have a handful on my calendar for this year. And most importantly, I have my sister's that's happening this summer. And I am helping her out on addressing all of her invitations. And I was thinking maybe of a couple of different ways that might be fun and unique to address the invitations to give a little bit more style to them. So I'm gonna show you guys today a couple different ways to do that. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is something that will elevate just the basic envelope. So what I like to do is take uh, just a square little business card size piece of paper. I like it when it has a contrast between the envelope and then what the color is that you are putting on. So what I like to do is just take uh, a little bit of a stick loop, center it. Then for a little extra detail, I'm gonna use some washi tape. I'm just gonna put it on the corners. You can cut it or rip it. I think cutting it gives you that crisper line. Ripping it gives you a little bit more rustic. Then you can go ahead and address. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is add a little bit of a detail with a rubber stamp. So I'm gonna use this banner one, and I'm just gonna place it on my acrylic block. You guys have probably used these ones before, but you just line it up. Next, what you want to do is take your ink pad, get the stamp ready. I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to actually do it a little bit more towards the top because I want to be able to write the address underneath. All right, so I like to use this banner to write the guest titles in. So. What I like to do is, especially if I, there's a Mr. and Mrs. And then I'm just gonna start with their last name. So this last style is the simplest of them all. You don't have to have any extra crafts in order to do this one. It's just all about the orientation of where you put the address on the envelope. So what I've seen and I've really liked before in the past is either doing it at a diagonal across it or kind of left justifying it onto the, um, the left side of the envelope and kind of giving it a little bit more drama and dramatic without having to do a lot to it. So something like this is using what I like to use is this archive pen. It's got a little bit of a thicker tip and it's great because it is fade proof and it has like it won't bleed a lot onto your envelope as well. So what I like to do is maybe try something different and also look at maybe mixing up some of the font styles that you're doing. So maybe the name is in cursive but you do the address in super modern kind of straight font. I hope you guys enjoyed these things that you can do to simply spice up maybe a little bit of your wedding invitations that you're sending out. If you want more DIY and wedding tips, make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on IamLightHearted.com.